I'll be showing you the, the first duo I ever made. We'll be starting here at the entrance, even though, well, as you can see, I didn't know how to make a custom entrance yet. This was made in a franchise mode, so... Uh, yeah. So yeah, everything was a bit limited at the start, as you can see. I never made a zoo before this besides... Well, I mean, I played a zoo tycoon when I was like 10 years old or something. Yeah, I added like the default little information box at the start. As you can see, the, the paths are pretty messed up, so you shouldn't be expect <laughs> That's a good sign of what to expect. I I don't know, I, th I thought this would look cool, the sign on the ground, but uh, as you can see, I, I should have lowered it into the ground maybe. Make it a bit... Yeah, a bit more uh, realistic. Um, I, I was kind of proud about this. I made like this custom little entrance to the, you know, like uh, facilities, the employee buildings. A little bit of like rock decoration outside, but inside there isn't too much here. Of course, it's only meant for staff, but it's all just like default buildings. Um, then the first enclosure is here on the left. You won't be able to see it when you get in, as you can see it's all just high hedges and more some more default just shops take a left here i guess you could see this one first uh, i was wrong it's not the flamingos it's this one these are at uh, uh now monitors that's what i call i think but this was uh, probably the first enclosure that i actually made very low fence for some reason I put glass in it, even though like you're essentially just looking at your feet at that point. But I mean I did a I don't hate it for like for when I made it. A basic little shelter over here. I did add like the leaves over there. Even though as you can see they're not even really attached to the to the roof. Yeah, this was like um, I just made a little hill, a bit of water. Th this enclosure was always overcrowded. But yeah, pretty nice. Uh, but to get back a bit through all this crowd, as you can see also, I didn't think of making like the entrance path wider. The, 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 this path is just the same size all, all throughout. So I didn't really think about like crowd management or whatever. But... Uh, or this might have been the closure I made before the Nile monitor. I'm not sure. Uh, it's one or the other. This one is... A, oh, wow. Okay, a lot of people. The Nile monitor is a bit better in my opinion, but... We got a bunch of... Uh, a second. Indian peafowls. They're all white, as you can see. I got like... I guess a mutation, and then... they Yeah, they all just stayed like that. I mean, th this enclosure has, like, nothing, to be honest. It's just a low hedge, a default, you know, like, a default enclo default uh, shelter, some, like, enrichment items, no, nothing else. Actually, when I loaded into this uh, one, after a very long time, as this is, like, of course, very old, these rocks were, like, slightly more elevated, and at the time, th this was fine, but when I loaded in again, yeah, well, like, a couple days ago, they could just jump over this hedge. For some reason, like they changed some mechanics to allow them to like escape easier, and they were just jumping from here, over here, and just wandering off into this other facility area, which I didn't hide as well as the other one. As you can see, you can just, as a guest, you would just be able to see the generator over there, which guests don't like, and all these buildings. Uh, but yeah, then let's go back to the middle. All right, I, I slightly reduced the amount of guests that are allowed to be in here, so that should be a bit better. Uh, let's go over here to the right. This is a red, uh, I think they're called lim like red penna enclosure. So you like the idea was you go up here, so you're like sort of in the enclosure, and that's perfect timing as there's one up there. I wanted to have this, you know, climb over for the red pennas, which I'm not sure where, but I've probably seen this in, in some some zoo in real life, and I tried to recreate it over here. I mean, it doesn't really look that good as it's just this one pillar. And they don't really have any reason to go over there as... Well, you can't really see, but I can just walk underneath normally. So, <clears throat> maybe I put some enrichment items up there or something like that. But it doesn't make much sense. And it kind of like it. It was like... It felt a bit more unique than just having, you know, a slight hill somewhere and a bit of water. He's kind of clipping through all the logs though, so... 
and this doesn't seem to ma make much sense the way he's climbing down but this was a, this was a, a very fun build this this is where i like felt like i did something a bit more unique than just the other ones yeah i got, I got a, a richmond item up here okay the the climbing animation is uh, very broken and he threw the enrichment item off. He didn't like it up there. Other one is just a one-way glass down here. But I mean, this side isn't really as decorated as the back over there. Which is, I guess, more of a sheltered area for them as they were that stressed out. So it changes up a bit try the time. If you walk down here, you got just a couple more very default shops that I didn't do anything with. I did add some benches. This is the, the other staff only entrance with a little rock, like a rock and like ex exit entrance. So this is, uh, I think, saltwater crocodiles. Yeah, I wasn't quite sure what I was doing here. I just lowered it, as you can see. I lowered, uh, lowered a bunch of land into the ground as I felt like that made that it look cool. I probably saw it in some zoo or I watched some video uh, and th I thought it would look cool and I wanted to try it. Uh, the, the walls, as you can see, they're a bit... This doesn't really look that good. It looks very unrealistic. So, like, so I tried to do a couple pillars like that, but... Yeah, th this enclosure gave me a lot of trouble. Guests don't like the view. Obviously, they think it's... think it's, like, too far, probably. And uh, I messed up the terrain here, where the path just sinks down. Almost, like, as if you're gonna fall in. And then I've like halfway through making it, I figured out, oh, oh, how how's the staff gonna get in? So I like uh, in the staff area, which you aren't supposed to see as a guest, I guess. But so this doesn't look pretty. But I just made a little tunnel to get in here. Got some more rock decorations. I I, I like doing this because it feels like the zoo is actually more closed in, and it makes more sense. It makes it feel bigger even though it it makes it feel smaller at the same time in my opinion rather than this this is what i oh i was saying like rather than this this feels very unfinished and i don't know what this generator was about i probably just quickly edit this at some point as i downloaded this uh this from the steam from steam so it's not really worth showing off it's very cool i just wanted to like halfway through i just started looking at uh or like towards and at, at the steam workshop I just downloaded this to put a bunch of things in. So this is not not mine at all. Uh, another view that I do like from the for the saltwater crocodiles is this little interior area, which I did make myself. Let me quickly go back into proper camera mode. Uh, which was probably my first custom building, like proper like something that's supposed to be a building. As you can see, it's not very not finished, but we got a little toilet. And two shops in here, but like nothing's connected to the roofs or whatever. We got some plants, so which also doesn't make sense because it's inside, way more inside than these plants make it out to be. Uh, but we got this little glass area over here. I mean, no one actually stands here to watch the crocodiles, but I mean, real, in real life, you probably would. And if you went along this side, of course, this is not, yeah, over here. We got uh, the monkeys. We got some just glass, just very lazy, just making the the walls from made out made of a glass. We have a decent view. I mean, that's this is probably another another default enclosure. I'm not sure. There's a bunch of enrichment items, some rocks. This 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 like makes it a bit more like makes it seem like there's actually terrain here. Which I like. I just do like this a bit more than just adding just a random rock here and there. Oh, we actually have some more staff buildings that it didn't hide again. But with this enclosure, the main view is over here. If we can make our way through all these guests. is sort of an inside view. Where you go into a little glass tunnel. And of course, it's like way too busy here. Uh, this, this this tunnel was like a real struggle for me like the, the monkeys would sometimes just glitch in somehow even though they shouldn't be able to at all they would just suddenly be standing in here 
and the monkeys wouldn't have escaped, but the guests would of course start running away. But yeah, you got a nice view of this side. This side is very undetailed. This just has a bunch of enrichment items I made. And they have like a little climbing area to get on top of the glass. They can walk over the glass, jump off on the other side, which they do. And I guess they could also just sneak in past here. Um, this probably would have been better made if I made this to go all the way through to the other side, for sure. Now it's like every guest is just sort of like struggling to get through each other. So not my best, best, best thought of uh, that true build, but... I did like this. Also very unrealistic, I think. Uh, I don't think monkeys in real life would like it if their closure was like this. Over here, we got very high walls, as you can see. And then, not so high over here. <laughs> so this is uh, probably grizzly bears. Or something similar. It's some kind of bears, big bears. So this is just... Uh, yeah, these. I just made it like a big mountain in the middle. And with, of course, big is relative. Uh, just add a couple of rocks, made it snowy. But uh, this one doesn't really have any good views. This is just lazy glass on in the walls type of build. Oh. This is a little climbing area. Uh, we've only seen one bear. Maybe they all disappeared. Uh, probably not. More shops over here on the right, but that's not what I'm going to show you, because all these... Ah, uh, here it is. I made this little... Uh, I'm actually just going to head in, because I'm barely, barely allowed. It's like custom enclosure. There's this custom uh, shelter. A custom shelter. Got some just very lazy bunch of ATMs right next to each other. So this is more towards the start. This is probably some custom, custom rocks. That place just to fill some space up, but then didn't fill any space on the other side. This is, <laughs> that's a toilet, that's not what I want to show you. <coughs> I think I did make this one custom. This is a, like, exhibit animal showing. I made, like, half a roof and then stopped. I'm not sure where this is supposed to be. But this, this might, I might have made this one before uh, the other one I showed you, but... Yeah, this is also a very bad building. Doesn't make any sense why it needs to be walled in and has ha half a roof. But uh, here we are. So we just got some basic exhibit animals. Just right slapped next to each other. At least I like added proper walls on some of them, not on this one. Maybe I wanted to make this one seem bigger, or I just forgot. But yeah, then we're gonna move over here. And again, I didn't finish the zoo at all, as you can see. Like, this area is nice and close in. And then we just have just a big open nothingness. So, I think I did some work on these to make them, like, actually closed in. So this is, like, probably, like, customed. Like, uh, I, I made that by hand. I, I, I did these, of course, just default buildings. But I tried to make them a bit more... Like a, a bit better with just plants and all that. But this is the lion habitat. With just glass wall all around. Here I just made like these are Yeah, just like uh, uh, here's where I sort of think of like closing the zoo in. To not make it feel so well unrealistic with just the big big planes. And here's some more shops that I tried to close in, but apparently very didn't do so well over here. Maybe this, I don't know. But uh, here, the line enclosure, where we have water, which they could just swim in, come on this side and jump over the fence, I guess, if they could jump that high. But yeah, I made this seem as a trench. And then they have their island in the middle, which was the ID behind this habitat, my big unique ID. The lines are all white again here. And this is the way I allowed the staff to get in and the animals to get in, in the first place to be brought in. I'm going to add some steam to the water, apparently. Yeah, the, 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 the actual habitat part isn't that special. As you can see, it's 
there's a bit of rocks over here then their shelter which is just a building just a default building which i guess does sort of makes <coughs> makes sense in the team as it seems like i made it a bit of as, as if it's uh if there are humans around with like a car over here and a bridge so <clears throat> So I guess it's not too far-fetched as a building, but then why did I pick an Asian bridge, an African safari car, and then brick building? And then we have just a little back part here. I think we have one animal left, or we have no animals left. We take go over here, take a left. We have this, I think mostly custom, shelter that I made. On the outside, not that uh, good looking. We have these little windows in here to, yeah, to allow you to look inside the shelter. Then we just, these are the zebras. Yeah, zebras. Yeah, we just have a, a chain fence going most of the way around. I tried to hide the fence in the back, as you can see, with just a bunch of grass. Just to not make it seem as much as an enclosure, make it seem bigger than it actually is. Yeah, here we have the overhead view then. As you can see, a lot of unfinished parts, outside paths, which shouldn't have ex existed if I wanted to finish it here. This last enclosure, even though I do like it, feels a bit of just a slap on. And th this definitely was, this This shouldn't be here. I, I don't, didn't make this, I don't know why I would put it in my zoo. But I mean, it was a zoo never made to be shown, so... I guess I was just mostly trying out mechanics here and trying to figure out how everything worked. Some enclosures that I'm proud of, others that are just... Well, actually, no, I do think that all the enclosures here, besides these first two, I try to have, like, have a unique, well, not mechanic, but feature to it. Over here, the bears have, I made their own uh, sort of ro rocky uh, shelter and a little mountain over here with snow. I tried for the for the apes the, the like a walk in for the guests that they can be sort of inside the enclosure. The crocodiles have like an inside viewing area, and of course they're deep in the ground. And this one you can walk over the enclosure, and also the panels can walk over you again. And of course, this one just has a moat, and this one doesn't really have anything too unique besides this this building. But thank you for watching. I'll be showing my next zoos in the next videos.